So uh, here is an example in which we use what we've just learned about solution stoichiometry or solution picket fences. And we uh, integrate what we've done before with picket fences involving grams of solid. And we have 2.0 grams of solid magnesium. Uh, we also have 100 milliliters of 0 0.100 molar HCl. And then those are going to be our two reactants. And I'll just sort of color code them. And whenever we have enough information to find the moles of two different reactants, that means it is a limiting reactant problem, which we've worked on. And then the question actually asks what volume of hydrogen gas at a particular pressure and temperature. And that calls to mind that we will probably be doing a PV equals NRT, again, like we've already done. So the new thing here is the milliliters and molarity to get moles. And the old things are doing a limiting reactant problem and um, using grams to moles and using the ideal gas law with moles. So this is a limiting reactant problem. We've done some of them. And the first thing you want to do is determine the smaller number of moles of reactant of product that you can make. I've got 2.00 grams of magnesium. And because we're going to moles of gas, which will lead to volume of gas, I am going to stop at moles. So I'm going to have, for this one, I'm going to have a molar mass here, and then I'm going to have a mole-to-mole -mole conversion here, and then I'm going to be done. But let's go ahead and look at that up. So my periodic table tells me that magnesium is 24.30 grams per mole. And I've got a one-to-one -one mole ratio from my magnesium to my hydrogen, which is what I'm interested in. Oop, mole H2. And we can do that, and we'll do the actual calculation in a minute. Now, this is a limiting reactant problem. Now, let's start with our 100 milliliters, which, as we've just learned, we want to put into liters. So move the decimal point three places to the left. That will be 0 0.100. Technically, there's another zero on there. We'll keep it, but it won't affect our results. Now, our molarity is going to be unit conversion. We break that up, 0 0.100 moles of HCl per one liter of solution. And here, our multimole -mole conversion is going to need to be two moles of hydrochloric acid for every one mole of hydrogen. And we can do this out. And let's do 2 divided by 24.3. I get 0 0.0823. And those are going to be units of moles of hydrogen. And here, 0 0.1 times 0 0.1 divided by 2, I get 0 0.005. Uh, 0, 0, if I want my three sig figs, moles of H2. So here is our smaller amount of H2, that's the amount that we can make. And so now we know moles of H2, but we've been asked for volume of H2, hydrogen gas. So for a gas, we can use the ideal gas law, PV equals NRT. We want to solve that for volume. So we'll divide both sides by P. And now we're going to plug things in until we get that volume. Volume, let's see, moles is going to be our smaller moles here. R, which is on our conversion and equation sheets, is 0 0.08206 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin. 
T is 25 degrees Celsius, but for gas and pretty much all calculations, we're going to do Kelvin. 273 plus 25 is 298 Kelvin. And it says atmospheres here, so we have to convert our 735 millimeters of mercury into atmospheres. If you'll remember, 760 millimeters of mercury is one atmosphere. I get 0 0.967 atmospheres, which I can then plug in down here. And my answer is going to be in liters because my atmospheres cancel, my Kelvin cancels, and my moles cancel, leaving me with liters. Let's go ahead and multiply this out. Uh, see if I can do that on screen here. 0 0.005 times 0 0.08206 times 298 divided by 0.967. And if I've done that correctly, 0 0.126 liters. It just says what volume of hydrogen gas. It doesn't say what units, so I'm going to leave it as liters. And that's our first problem involving a gram calculation, a solution calculation, and an ideal gas law calculation. Um, this one is just like the previous one, so I will allow you to do it and I will look for your work in, the, uh, in your lecture outline notes that you turn in.